Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we are learning how to install a pipe flashing on a metal shingle roof. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett. Subscribe if you're new here. We release new content every Monday and Wednesday on metal roofing and metal construction. Today, Mark from Isaiah Industries is back and he's gonna be demonstrating how to install a pipe flashing on Isaiah Industries' rustic aluminum shake system. If you missed part one of this series, which is how to install metal shingles as an intro, you can check that out right here. Practically any uh, roof that uh, you're going to uh, install our shingles on are pro is probably going to have some kind of a, a pipe uh, that's going to protrude through the roof. And um, a standard way of uh, flashing that would involve the use of this pipe jack with a, a neoprene boot on it. One thing that we have found over the years is that this neoprene boot, when exposed to the sun, um, deteriorates relatively rapidly. And so you have a, a lifetime roof um, that really should not need maintenance for decades, um, has this vulnerable neoprene boot that often fails in a matter of six, eight, ten years. And so the installer gets a call back from a homeowner who's saying that their roof is leaking. And it's really not the roof, it's, it's the flashing around the pipes. And so I wanted to develop a, a system for protecting this vulnerable neoprene boot. And that's what you see here in this uh, cone flashing that's um, on top of that neoprene boot. So you can see down here, this is, this is the, the, the pipe jack. And um, it's underneath our shingles. And then I have the cone and I'm going to finish the, the pipe up with this sleeve so that everything is color matched, color coordinated. Uh, you have one more layer of protection, but really the primary purpose of this is to protect this, this vulnerable boot from the harmful rays from the sun. All right, I thought I would uh, come back over to our training deck and show you some of the, the details of how this uh, flashing uh, around a, a vent pipe uh, occurs. Again, this is a, a standard uh, pipe jack with a neoprene boot. I've shingled up to the pipe and now I'm ready to do the uh, detail around the pipe. In every box of coil that Isaiah Industry sends out to its customers uh, with our materials is this uh, cone pattern. Uh, I developed this uh, maybe 10 years ago in response to um, the problems that we were seeing with leaks because of that neoprene boot. In it, there is a, a template for making a, a cone pattern that is pitch specific to the roof. And so you, you simply find the, the pitch of your roof. In this case, we have a 512 deck. And that is represented by the green line. So you're gonna cut out this cone pattern along the green line and then along these lines here. And then identify the diameter of your pipe. Our pipe here on the deck is three and a half inches, so you're going to cut out the pattern along that three and a half inch line. What you're gonna get when you do that is, is this. This is the pattern that was cut out. Okay, so now I have shingled up to the pipe and I'm going to take my, my pipe boot here and I'm going to turn up the sides using this folding tool that has a three inch, three eighths of an inch deep groove. So I'm gonna turn up my sides and I'm gonna turn up the back. What I'm gonna get as a result is this. This is going to allow me to hook my clips onto these flanges that I've now made. The next step is that I'm going to take this, this boot and I'm going to bring it down over, over the pipe. And I'm gonna find out where it, it meets the shingle. 
I'm going to mark that, and I'm going to snip the top lock of the shingle, bend that up some, bend this down, or I could bend it back, really doesn't matter either way. And I'm also going to identify where this flange aligns with this top lock. I'm going to make two snips there. I'm going to take my flangers, <clears throat> I'm going to crimp shut this portion below. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cover for this portion that's, that's going to be visible. And this is what that is going to, to look like. Again, I used my folding tool. Did uh, use the one inch side to do the sides and then the three eighths on the bottom. You might notice then that I took my snips and I snip the corner so that if I get any water or condensation under here, it, it has the opportunity to, to drain out. That is going to fit up underneath that, uh, that pan. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cone pattern that the that I've cut out and I'm going to lay it on a piece of coil. And if you do this right, you usually can get two out of a, a width of coil. Minimize your scrap that way. And that's what that is going to, to look like. I'm gonna cut that out. And then again, I'm going to use my folding tool I'm going to bend up one side and bend under the other in order to make my, my flat lock. And then I'm gonna gently roll the coil back and forth. And I, I will take these as well to, to almost crimp them all the way shut and then do a little bit of a, of a over bend there. Bring it back together and it's gonna to hook together. The next step is I'm going to uh, install the shingles around the pipe. <clears throat> I'm going to have to jump up over this so you, you notice here I, I bent this under, I snipped this and bent uh, the lock under. So it's going to come up like that. It's probably a good idea to have foam. Uh, behind these panels, especially if you're going to um, attach the cone with rivets to the shingle. <clears throat> Again, you don't want to penetrate that pan below. I'll have to make my uh, apologies for some of the scratches here. These panels have been used multiple times uh, to demonstrate how to uh, put this cone pattern on. So my next step is that I'm going to take the cone, bring it down over the pipe, and then I'm going to note and mark where the cone meets the butt of the shingle, because I, I want to make a step um, so that it rests against this uh, pan cover, steps up and goes to the back. So I'm going to mark that. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to cut up one inch. And notice here that I've, I've left the tabs. You know, I've, I've cut up here and then cut out and did that so that I actually do have these tabs on this particular piece. Okay, so I've, I've made that notch. And I'm going to bring this down and If you've cut right on the line, that should be a snug fit. You might have to just trim a little bit off. The last part here is a simply a sleeve to go over the top of the pipe to cover the rest of the pipe. You measure around the pipe the circumference, which here is about um, 11 inches. You add an inch and three quarters. That's going to give you 12 and three fourths. Again, make my, my two locks. Bend it together. I'm going to 
bring it down. And I will have uh, put sealant right around here and I'll bring this down into the sealant. And then as you can see, as I hit down on that and put a couple of screws in the back, this turns into a very uh, solid, robust system here. And now you have a, a system, a covering for that pipe that makes it so that that neoprene boot is never going to see the sun. It's not going to, to, to degenerate and eventually leak. You have a pipe system that now is it's color coordinated with the rest of the roof. You've got one more layer of water protection and a, a finishing touch that really makes the roof look like it was professionally installed. Well, that wraps up our metal shingles series. Huge thanks to Todd and Mark from Isaiah Industries for sharing all of their knowledge. If you missed any of these episodes, you can check out our metal shingles playlist right here that we made. All our episodes are contained right there. Now, coming up next is a series all about fasteners where we partner with Triangle Fastener Corporation to talk about installation, tools, testing, and way more. So make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel so you don't miss it. Comment down below with any questions and thank you very much for stopping by, taking a watch on one of our videos today. As always, I'm Thad Barnett and we will catch you next time.